Chris Barkas works on the right to find Phillips and Pat Phillips will be crucial on the wing. Super pressure there though from Erdley in her first game. Couldn't get a kick on that ball unfortunately though. The former Bulldogs first interaction as a bomber. We'll have to kick through a couple of sets of hawk hands. Look for Batterstar who made it hers. Maybe one of the few players in range from 45, but she's going to tee it up instead. Try and create a spillage. Well done from Scott. After Wilson has got the first goal. As it's on. No way you can underscore how hard that was. Wilson with the fly. In fact, it's Paige Scott, who has been everywhere early on. She plays the game with some real old-school country blue collar. The power and skill to match. And she sneaks home, the Bombers second. Ashmore to the left, heads in that direction now. Ashmore's got an option down the line. Sophie Locks there, will she get the mark for a free kick? Play continues, or there's been a whistle, a push, and this is a moment that beckons. There are busloads of family and friends from Seymour in the stadium tonight. And we're all with Sophie right now. Tomorrow, Luke posed off the line and again they just start to generate a bit of kick mark here the Hawks deep their first ever signing goes looking for Perkins who puts it in a reverse and Matty Presbarkas is trying to tackle everyone no chances with the kick on this occasion Luke's got two to beat and was too good that's a bullet of a kick to find Gilroy who is off from Van der Hoobel and boots the kick forward and with good reason Barbacos out the back Will the ball sit for her? She's got Carboni towards the goal square. Barbacos just takes them all on. Spins, kicks, squeezes at home. And Hawthorne have brought this back to a two-point game. Scott went for the handball inboard. Van der Hoover with speed. Darts the kick away, waiting back for it, but it rushed onto Baskerin. In front of her, there was a hole. It would go the way of Bannister. Now the bomber's out the back too. It's got the drop on ground and the mark. The co-captain of the Bombers for her first goal in red and black. The D's and the Crows in the grand final replay set a high bar last night, but right now this has got match of the round status. A chance now for the Hawks to create some of that meaningful front half possession we've been talking about. Gets to the back, Barbapos, Perkins! They've got themselves an outnumber. Locks got speed. Runs through Van Loon. Kicks deep. It's going to be Gilroy v. Van der Hoovel. Gilroy gets hold of Van der Hoovel. Executes the perfect tackle. No reward though in terms of a free kick. Hawks fans in sense. They might still get one though. What pressure it is to give Barber Cross her second. And we are tied. Free kick will go the way though of the Bombers and Steph Kane who's... Trying to find a win at her second AFLW club. Goes looking for and finding Marshall. After starting with the Arizona Hawks back in 2018. To give Essendon back the lead. You can hear the roar as soon as the kick was on. And kicks with authority. Duffin. Two good. One tonight. 30 in her AFLW tenure. The Bombers co-captain to edge the margin with two straight kicks. Sneaks it in to Brown, who looks wide and centrally and can see Carboni and Locke. And a bounce that favours Gilroy. She had McPortrook on by hand and missed her. Stevenson to Baskerin, who made good of the half volley. Luke extends the arms, keeps the play alive. Carboni through one, not through two. Elise Gamble with a big, big stop for the Bombers. No, it's a high one. Chris Barkas takes the advantage. Great courage from Wales back in flight. Tupel goes in for a second dose. Off to Clark. She'll step the court trip. No, she won't. Ball forward for Clark. And the Bombers have got numbers right in the vicinity of Amber Clark here. One of them is G, who's normally full of polish and has the vision to square it back to Press Barkas for her first goal as a bomber. And as she so often has, secures victory. Yeah, it just allows the players to, to put their skills on display. And that's what Kane will do on this occasion. 
for Alexander for her first as a bomber. And what a beauty it is too. An expansion team maybe like what we saw from North in their first year and too good is one who's well and truly driving things for Essendon won't add a third to what's been a polished performance something to celebrate for Essendon in their 150th year for Bombers with their first AFLW win